Hey guys, Amy and Loie here. I've got your playful experiment to do for the week. And in case you don't already know, this is what you do with a partner. Your partner's assigned to you. There's a list inside the group. No one can tell us. You guys are going to get together, probably video call, so that you can actually do this playful experiment together. And here's what we've got for you. Take it away, Loie. You are going to write a children's book about something you think kids should know or something you think you really needed to know when you were a kid. And you're going to do all the drawings yourself. They don't have to be fancy drawings. They can be little stick figures. But once you've written the entire book, then you're going to read it out loud to your partner. And they're going to read it out loud to you or their book that they made. Perfect. Yeah. So if you want to do this and like write it beforehand and then just meet up for the sharing part, that's fine. Or if you guys want to workshop it together and just like keep each other company while you're doing your drawings and your kids book and kind of do that and then just read it in the nice little story time afterwards, like however you guys want to set it up, you do that with your partner. But at the very least, you're meeting to read this book in the story time fashion to your partner. And so, as she said, it's stuff that you really think kids need to know or you really would have needed to know as a kid yourself. And it can totally be sarcastic and playful. I mean, if you want to, you know, there's like a movie that's got some kind of kid's book that's like blow its arm off with a firecracker or whatever. If you really think kids need to know, then sure, you know, but there's also much more clever ways to take something that you really actually would have needed to know as a kid and you can write it into a kid's book that's, you know, playful, jokey, um, not serious, totally a spoof, you know, um, or really serious. I mean, you can totally put your heart and soul into it and have it be the kind of kids book that you would really like to read to your own kids one day because this is like the stuff that you wish somebody had told you. And you know, when you think about that, I mean, it's a nice little way to reflect on your life. Um, what did I need to be told? What's something that I know now that I didn't know then that would have been helpful to know? Or it could have also come from this other aspect of like needing reassurance or validation or permission to be a certain way that you already were. It's like, gosh, you know, I was this way since I was a kid. And if I had gotten permission from someone, if somebody else had spoken up and said, you know, I feel like X, Y, or Z. And I would have been like, wow, somebody else feels that way too, or that's okay. Or, you know, whatever, that's beautiful, beautiful stuff. And that's what we're doing. That's the very stuff that we want you to make this kid's book about. Um, so for me, if I'm like using an example, I would say one of the biggest ones I feel like kids should know or that I would have really done well to know as a kid um, was uh, you don't have to play by the rules. You know, <laughs> like there's so much information for kids, like trying to get them to understand the rules. Here are the rules you need. But like, hey, you don't have to be a such and such doctor, farmer, nurse, you know, like any of the things that have a title to them, you can totally write your own, your own pathway. You don't have to fit into any of the types of anything, jobs, house structure, family who lives with you structure, you know, like it's just, you write your own, make up whatever you want, you know, or that it's like total freestyle. If somebody had written a book and I don't even know how it would go, you know, go ahead and take mine if you want. Um, but like something that let kids know that freestyle is totally how life goes. It's okay. Freestyle. You can pull like things that already exist for, you know, your freestyle. Um, but like living life as a complete freestyle that you get to do yourself, you don't have to be able to describe it to anybody with a one word title, you know, like I'm a, mm. You don't, you don't have to, you can totally describe it in your own uh, way and it can be lengthy because it's your life and you get to do, yeah, whatever. So that's why I feel like, you know, even if I were to describe to someone that I'm a mother, um, I would want it to be like, it's, it's not the typical mother thing. I would want to like really describe it. Like how, what is that to me for real? Um, anyway, I think that we could all do better with that anyway, where, we don't do those definitions and those labels. We like really make it mean the thing we want it to mean. Um, so yeah, that would be what I would do my kids book about. And 
I like to do art, uh, but Loey likes it even more. And I'm just speaking to those of you who might not want to, like, are you kidding? I have to do drawings too? You know, I mean, but yes, like that's part of the willingness. It's part of the fun. It's part of the, you know, push yourself out there and do something. So if you love it, great. So like, then this one's your fave, huh? <laughs> um, but if you're like, what drawings? No, I, you know, then listen, get creative. You can draw stick figures. That's fine. Make it awful if you want on purpose. If you want. Um, or it could be doodles that don't have anything to do with the actual storyline. Like, that's fine. Get creative. I just got through going on a whole rant about how you can freestyle life. So you can clearly freestyle this activity too. You just have to be willing to do it and to like get in there and try it and like, you know, do the exercise. Um, other things that can work are like photos. You could do the illustrations as photos. You could do like a collage of stuff. Um, Anything, anything. So just putting those ideas out there for those of you guys that need a little extra nudge on that part of this assignment, but enjoy sharing your children's book with your partner, like I said, in full on story time. I'm actually hoping that you guys are going to create things that the other person really enjoys in some way, you know, like, wow, that was enjoyable. Like, you know, those pictures were so bad. They were enjoyable, <laughs> you know, or like, I would have never thought to write a story about that, but like right on, that is exactly what I needed to hear as a kid or whatever. It also helps you to get to know each other. So enjoy.